Hey, I'm Butch Rice, and you're looking at Louisville. Welcome everyone to this edition of Looking at Louisville. I'm Chaz. I'm Stacy. And we are here at the Bodega. You know, we're on the edge of downtown Louisville, but we're here because... I stop here a lot. It's one of my favorite little uh, places to go on the way home from work when I need a quick dinner. Pick up some pastas, some meats, cheeses, olives, things like that, even a bottle of wine. Yeah, it's great food and it's got great coffee, but we're coming here to get food for a specific reason. We are going to take a picnic today. Mm -hmm. We haven't done that yet, Definitely right? Um, normally we eat at a, a local dining spot and this is actually a great spot here. Yeah. Um, it's crowded for lunch uh, right, right now, I think. Uh, we're going to pick up some of the things that I pick up on the way home from work and we're going to go back to Waterfront Park, which we've been to yep. for several episodes. Mm -hmm. We're going to show people how you can use the park. Uh, you've got an event that yes. you're that you are going to shoot. Waterfront Wednesdays. Right. And uh, today we're just going to picnic uh, and rent some of the uh, bike rentals that mm -hmm. you can do um, all up and down uh, the Great Lawn and, and the whole area. And we're going to show folks why 1.5 billion people go to Waterfront Park every year just to have a good time. Well, let's go get our food and get started. Let's get at it. Well, Stacy, you picked out a lot of great food at the bodega, and of course, we've already eaten through it all. Uh, but tell us, it. tell us what we had for lunch today. Well, we had a couple of uh, meats, uh, some capicola, some black forest ham. You wanted some mesquite uh, turkey That's and awesome. some pepperoni. We had their uh, smoked provolone and smoked gouda. We were into smoky flavors today. Yeah. And then we had three spreads from a local company. I get these a lot at the bodega and also at uh, Lots of Pasta in the wine rack on Frankfurt Avenue. Uh, we had a homemade Benedictine, which as you know is uh, one of a Kentucky regional favorite. We had a black bean spread and we had a Mediterranean goat cheese. We had a couple of salads. Uh, the broccoli cauliflower salad with raisins was really good and uh, the Asian. Asian coleslaw. And then we had some buffalo mutts and, and tomatoes and olives to round it all out. So oh, and finally, you had to have bread with that. So we, uh, Bodega carries Blue Dog Bread, which is a local artisanal uh, bakery on Frankfurt Avenue in Crescent Hill. And uh, so we had some of that too. So I'm full and I'm still not done eating. And in fact, we're going to work it off here a little bit. We're going to take a bike ride. We but, are. But before that, yes, we are. We're going to go work our, work our food yes, off here. We are. Um, but in the meantime, we're actually in a great location because overlooking Part of the waterfront is an area where they have live music, which is Waterfront Wednesdays, which, which is free. Which you went to last night, yes, right? Yes, I did. Yeah, and I it's from so. April through August, the last Wednesday of every month. So we're going to cut to that, and then after that, we're going to go for a bike ride. Okay, sounds great. Yeah, it's a long way to Memphis. It's love to New Orleans. I think it's amazing. I think it's amazing that it's free. FPK is the best station in Louisville, and um, I'm just, I'm, I'm really proud of our city that we can do things like this. The waterfront is, the, it's, it's the heart of the city, you know? This city was built on the river. To have free concerts down here once a month, put on by the best radio station in town, it's a no-brainer. Oh, everybody, you got to jump on my merry go. It's wonderful down here, great place to be. Well, we got our little Surrey, and we're Isn't both cute? Yeah, and we're both in control of driving, so we can't complain. So, it's a nice hot day. And the European style over here. So, now we get to go work off that good health, that good lunch. Huh? Let's go. Let's do it. Hey, say to me, there's uh, Joe's Crab Shack. Yeah, one of the uh, couple of uh, waterfront restaurants that are out here, Joe's and Tumbleweed. And of course, on the Indiana side, you got Rockies, Buckheads, and Kingfish on the river. Look at this over here. We got it's a nice hot summer day, and the kids are out here swimming in the water. Take a look at this. We're here. We've got the Great Line. Okay. This is where they host. Oh, no, we're this is where they host a lot of the big events, like you know the Fourth of July, Thunder Over Louisville, Thunder Over Louisville, and it's right now it's just Iron a Man. This is the uh, bike exchange uh, for Iron Man in August. They uh, all the swimmers come from upriver. Uh, they swim down here after their two miles, and this is where all the bikes are parked, and they make the exchange oh, cool. to do the uh, I think it's a hundred mile bike ride. It's wow. really cool. 
Okay, so this is really cool, um, but this um, is all work of a local artist who's no longer with us, unfortunately, but his legacy lives on here. His name is Marvin Finn, and he's famous for these artistic sculptures, I guess, renderings uh, of uh, birds and fowl, chickens, hens. Uh, saw some ostriches, flamingos in there. Uh, they're really cool and obviously really popular with the little kids because they're so colorful. It's family friendly, it's most economical. Then there's not a lot of places for the kids to go that they can just be free like this, you know. Um, it's fun because I can get wet and this is the only place I get to get wet at. And I'm having fun celebrating. We're on a trail right now, you know, but there's also the Lincoln Trail. And we're coming up to a statue that just was um, unveiled. And uh, it's my first time seeing it, so I'm really excited about it. And it was sculptor Ed Hamilton. Yep, local. And uh, he's done uh, pieces all over the, the country, including one in Washington, D.C. Yeah. So most people, of course, know that uh, Abraham Lincoln was born in Kentucky uh, and spent most of his childhood here. But he also had a special affinity uh, towards Louisville because his best friend, John Speed, lived in Louisville at Farmington and he um, spent, uh, I believe it was an entire summer here uh, before he got married. After the story is he, uh, he and Mary Todd, who ended up uh, being his you know, future Mrs. Lincoln, uh, had broken up and he came to Louisville yeah. to hang out with his best friend and just for, for a little R&R. &R. And so this might have been, you know, a, a typical scene of him uh, riverfront studying uh, for law school and uh, uh, telling stories uh, to children coming up. Just the way I hear it, anyway. It's really hot out here, so we're going to take a run to the sprinklers and uh, cool off a little bit, so me too. There you go. Actually, I feel a lot better. I don't know about you. Get the microphone. <laughs> no, I didn't know what the microphone. I tell you what, I do feel a lot better. That's awesome. All right, ready to get my back? Yeah, we got, we got to, we got to get this back. Well, I'm all wet and sweat's running off. That was quite refreshing. Yes, it was. And I'm ready for ice cream now too. Yeah, we're ready to cool off. Yeah. But you know, oh, if you, what a great view there. Great, great. It's yeah. a great, it's a great time. It's, it's a, a lot of fun and really affordable. What was it? Twenty six dollars for the place. hour. It was free to get to run through the water. And they've got. Uh, <laughs> doubles and quadruples and they had those dune buggy things too and bikes so and of course if, if you want to find out more information about this just you can go to go to local.com or you can send us an email for store ideas or information about this podcast at podcast at go to local.com of course you can always facebook us and do a search for go to louisville and twitter.com slash go to louisville we'll also have a full list of uh, the addresses and phone numbers contacts for all the things that we've done today too so as always you're looking at louisville See you real soon. We really are. Yeah, keep yeah, keep your keep your eyes on Louisville. All right. Don't turn around. Do you have food in my teeth? Can't tell from that distance. That's an right, right there. I do? Yeah. Do I? Not anymore. There we go. We got the ethics. <laughs>